Hello, my lovely dishers. It is time to dish with D. What are you dishing about today? This is always one of my favorite videos to film. It is a cookbook review. Oh, I love cookbooks. You know that. I'm a little bit of cookbook obsessed. So this is the one in the WW Wins. I haven't even opened it yet. So <clears throat> again, we're going to get first impressions because I don't know. I think first impressions are fun. So let's cut this bad boy. And these scissors from QVC are the bomb diggity. If you ever see them, they're usually at a set of five. They're fantastic. It's hard bound. Cost me nothing because it's in the winds and the winds are nice. <clears throat> it's called Coming Home. Or Homecoming. What is this little card? All right, let's see. First, a little card. Usually it's a little... Little letter congratulating me on my win. I forgot the little letter, like, you killed it. Here's your risk, you know. All right, WW personal points. Smart points are out, personal points are in. Thanks for our brand new program. Simply scan the QR code for each chapter to find the recipe updated points value. See, sometimes they get it right. Sometimes they get things right. And when they do, I like to say that. That's fabulous. Happy cooking, eating, and tracking. So there, there is a chapter. So you scan the QR code with your phone. It'll bring it up in your app on the WW app with your personal points. See, I do like that about the program. I'm not, you know, I'm not a hater. I'm not a hater completely. It's just, you know. So it's African, Caribbean, and Southern recipes that celebrate food traditions across the, dis across the diaspora. Diaspora? Don't know. Words too big for me, but look at that. I love different kinds of cuisine. And if you can make it at home at low in point. Yeah. Before, I know, let's put it out there. I'm probably going to like it because I like things like that. I love different types. This is a hardbound book, number one. So there you go. Does it give a retail price on here? It doesn't, but you know. All right. Pretty. They'll stuck together. This was made in 2020. Okay. So, all right. We have our table of contents. And they look like plantains if I had to guess. All right. Let's see what the table of contents is. Spices and sauces. <laughs> Western Central Africa. West Indies in the Caribbean. The Low Country and the Gullah Geechee. Again, I apologize if I butcher that. Louisiana Creole, the South and American classics, parties and cookouts, and going vegan. Well, the vegans are coming up in this world. And they have recipes listed by their small point values in alphabetical. So we'll just take a peruse a few of the um, chapters. About our recipes, everything is on the menu. And like I said, it's, it's all with the old points, um, smart points. So they're a little bit different now. It tells you the vegan entrees, the vegetarian, the gluten-free, the dairy-free, the nut-free. So that's always good. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with spices and sauces. I'll peruse each chapter. Jamaican curry powder, Creole seasoning, suya spice, jerk seasoning, unsalted Memphis barbecue rub, lemon pepper, all-purpose fry breading, low sodium seasoning salt, hot pepper sauce, tofu garlic aioli, comeback sauce, sweet and spicy KC barbecue sauce, and yogurt remoulade. See, I just love, I know this is, and this is not a, for a lot of you, I do understand that. But for some of us kitchen people and who love just flavors and spices and cultures, this is a dream cookbook. I mean, look at that. All the spices blends. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, how to make all these beautiful spice blends. Yogurt remoulade, now that sounds amazing because I love making yogurt sauces. This is a yogurt-based remoulade. It's much lighter than the traditional mayo-based versions, allowing you to enjoy your crab cakes 
fish and fries all the same. My boys would love to dip their fries in that. My gosh. Yogurt, pickles, pickle juice. Oh, it's like a zero point sauce. Shut the front door. That is going to be a definite make. What is comeback sauce? Mayonnaise, lemon juice, hot sauce, Dijon mustard. That sounds amazing as well. Oh, <laughs> all right. What do we have in West and Central Africa? Chicken and mushroom skewers with a suya sauce, peanut soup, <sighs> barbecue flying steak with onions, braised cabbage, grilled snapper with a charred limes and hot sauce, chicken yasa, and peanut butter cookies. Cookies. Let's get to the peanut butter cookies real quick. You know, I don't want to spend too much time on this video, but oh my god, do they look good? <gasps> they look amazing. They're so cute. Look, I'm all for a good peanut butter cookie. <gasps> they were three points on blue, green, and purple. It looks really good, and they're nice and bite sized. All right, let's go to the West Indies and Caribbean. Sweet ginger plantains, rice and peas, spicy lentil patties, spinach. Kalaloo, Caribbean beef stew, vegetable curry, Floribean mahi mahi tacos, Haitian, I'm not going to try to say that one, pineapple sorbet, bana, banana gingerbread, and the last one, I may just have to implode, coconut milk rum cake. Oh my gosh, let's look at that one. Because you know, I love that there's a recipe, there's a picture for every recipe because I don't know about you, but oh my God, the gingerbread looks amazing. It's four points on the blue, green, and purple. <laughs> I know, look, it's just mangoes on the top. I mean, let's just, on the old planet was five points on blue and purple and six on green. Oh, I still can do this on my plan. See, I just like stuff like, it's different. You know, and yes, you can get everything online. You don't need to have a book. But when it's with your wins and you've already paid for it, what the hell? <laughs> the Low Country and Gola Geechee. Seafood and okra soup. Crab rice. Baked oysters. Hop and John fritters. I love Hop and John. Bene crackers. Savannah red rice. Low Country crab cakes. Hush puppy muffins. Oh my god, Carolina rice pudding. Oh, let's look. We'll, we'll pick one. I don't know which one look at. Let's look at the crackers. The crackers are interesting. The fritters look good too. Oh, look at the Benny crackers. I'm telling you. Ted, Benny's or sesame seeds? Sesame seeds, flour, kosher salt. They look, they look so cute though. I'll show you the, um, since I already made a face at the Hoppin' John fritters. I love a good fritter and I love Hoppin' John. I think Hoppin' John is something like a, a um, corn. I think it's a corn meal or corn. Is there any corn in here? <laughs> See if I know what I'm talking about. I probably don't. A butter, onion, green bell pepper, thyme, bay leaf, kosher. I guess there is no black eyed peas yeah I, yeah there's no corn in there i don't know why i thought hoppa john was southern dish of black eyed peas and rice i'm thinking of hoe cakes don't ask me why i got hoppa john and hoe cakes confused because yes hoppa john is a popular southern dish of black beans no of black eyed peas and rice it's traditionally served on new year's day maybe next year we'll have to have some hoppa john oh look at this is, oh, look at that crab cake. The low country crab cake. It has one blue and purple point and three green. So we will definitely have the regular points, but it can't be much more. If, if those are your zero point foods. Oh, that looks amazing. Oh, the rice pudding. Oh, I love good rice pudding. And that one is four points on all plans. <clears throat> Unsweetened almond milk, low fat evaporated milk rice, light brown sugar, which you could probably put monk fruit and really maybe get a shave a point off. That looks really good. I'm, I love rice pudding. All right, let's go to Louisiana Creole. Oh my God, the first one out of the door. <laughs> I just love food. I'm sorry. I have to apologize. I love food and I, I can't help but show it. <laughs> Honey beignets, crawfish etouffee, halibut with Creole 
men menuer sauce, Louisiana red beans, Creole tomato salad, Creole shrimp and grits, mushroom dirty rice, gumbos and herbs, bananas foster crisp. Bananas foster crisp. So what do I want to look at? You know, I got to put those beignets. Oh my God, I love a good beignet. Oh, look at that. See, this is a food you should be eating on plan. I'm sorry. If you're eating just some chicken and some broccoli and rice with nothing on it, then you're not living. And this is why they have these cookbooks. This is what you should do. Look at that mushroom dirty rice. I love I love dirty rice. Do they have the whatchamacallit on there? Uh, vegetable broth. Oh, I love baby bellas, sun-dried tomatoes. There's the bananas foster crisp. How good does that look? Is that for one? Look at me. Is that for one? Let me see. Um, serves four. I was thinking that looked like a single serve to me. But that's 10 points on blue and green and blue and nine on purple. Wow. Well, you could definitely lower these points. Like the oats use regular um, monk fruit brown sugar and light butter well definitely and it's using um a rum though no, all right the south and american classics ho cakes did i not say ho cakes oh my god ho cakes sweet breakfast rolls sausage breakfast biscuits classic green beans pork chops and cauliflower grits sour cream and chive cauliflower potato mash bacon onion and tomato jam Oh, shut the front door on that one. <sighs> Simple salmon patties, crispy air fried okra, baked mac and, mac and cheese, Salisbury steak, sheet pan salmon with succotash, 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 I can say succotash, sauteed greens, chicken a la king, oven fried catfish or chicken tender baskets, ambrosia salad, not a fan of that, sweet potato pone, and old fashioned southern tea cakes. Of the hoe cakes. I love hoe cakes. It's just like a corn waffle. They're just so good. Oh my gosh. Look at the breakfast rolls. Oh, I mean, come on. Let's go to something in the back of the ice cream. This, this is, this is going to be coming to a dish with these video near you. I love tomato jam. I made it once. It was delicious. Or was it? It was tomato jam. This is bacon, onion, and tomato jam. It's four points, but we could definitely get rid of something in there that could lower that. The brown, well, it's only a tablespoon of brown sugar. It's probably all the bacon. Wow. Two heaping tablespoons is four points. But as long as you only need one. <gasps> Salmon patties. I mean, yes. With our Lent, I would love to make those. No okra. Okra Winfrey. Look at the baked macaroni and cheese. I mean, look at that. Yes, if you're struggling on plan, and you, because you're, you're not eating, and this is the kind of stuff, and it doesn't cost you anything to get, to get this, um, this book on your wins, if you have it, if you're tracking, you guys got to have wins. That's another reason why I track, to get this free stuff. Chicken a la king. Oh my gosh, does that look good? My husband loves chicken a la king. So this will probably be coming to a video near you as well. Sweet potato pone. Oh, it looks like a little, um, replacing half the sweet potatoes with squash makes this casserole a bit lighter and less starchy. The sweet dish is usually served for dessert, but we be also a great pair with grilled sausages or roast pork or chicken. Yeah, it looks really good. So they're, they're putting squash instead of the potatoes, like a pumpkin. That's cool. There's the tea cakes. Oh, yum. Nothing like the cookies. These were two points on all plans, so you know you can lower that a little bit. All right, parties and cookouts. <clears throat> Lemon pepper wings, creamy cucumber and tomato salad, sorrel sangria, maple baked beans, curried carrot salad, hot and sweet pickles, pickled deviled eggs, grilled kale salad. That sounds amazing. 
oven baked ribs, pink and blue slaw, pimento cheese stuffed jalapenos, spatchcock barbecue chicken, seasoned crinkle cut fries, potato salad, smoked orange and chicken salad, watermelon snowballs and strawberry fruit salad. Let's pick out something. Oh, this is like a panzanella. We never had a bread panzanella salad. Fabulous. I mean, there are some weird things here I would, yeah, that I wouldn't, like the sorrel sangria. Where does one find sorrel? Curry carrot slaw. I love, I love curry. Hot and sweet pickles. There's zero points. I do make a good, I do make a good pickle, but there you go. If you don't have a good pickle recipe, you can make your own pickles. Oh, look at the pickle deviled eggs. The eggs are purple. I love it. They are, I love eating pickled eggs. Man. The lights, I'm sorry about the lighting in here. I something must have went. There's the grilled kale salad that I thought sounded amazing. All right, all right, let's go to the last chapter because I don't want to keep this too long. Something dropped up there. Sorry, I jumped. Okay. All right, going vegetarian. Pumpkin bisque, vegan crab cakes, Carolina-style pulled jackfruit, crispy tofu sandwiches, garlic mac and cheese, and banana pudding cups. So, for our vegan friends, let's pull out something. Pumpkin bisque sounds really good. I mean, it feels like a good pumpkin soup. And I've never had jackfruit, but they say it has the consistency of chicken. And what's in the vegan crab cake? Looks like it's chickpeas, hearts of palm. Oh, they look good. You know, look bad. And well, here's the pulled jackfruit. I've never had jackfruit. I think you, I know Whole Foods has it. I don't know if I've ever seen it anywhere else. But yeah. I mean, so, oh, the banana pudding cups look really good too. So that is it. You know I was going to like this because I love me a good, and I love different foods like this. This is the food that you should be eating. You don't feel like you're on a diet when you're eating this stuff. You feel like you're on a healthy lifestyle. And it's just all these fabulous dishes lightened up. So go into your wins if you're interested. I think it was, it was the, the lowest level. So it was the first level. You can't beat it. And if you have the wins, this is what I'd love to use it on is cookbooks. I also have a video from the other cookbook that's in there. I'll remember to link that in the iCards if you, in case you're thinking about getting that one. I will link that um, review there as well. So that is it for me. I give it two thumbs up. I, you know, I knew I was going to like it. And I love this. I'm actually impressed. So that's fabulous. So I guess I guess maybe any of their old cookbooks that they're selling that maybe this will come with, which is kind of nice. Because if you're changing your points and your plans and, you know, we got all these, you know. And this way they don't have to waste the book. These books are already printed and you could use them. So that is really, really smart. So that's all I got today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoy cookbook reviews, give this video a thumbs up. I have another book to review. I have, I didn't, somebody sent it to me sweetheart my girl ellen and i will review that one next week it was the one she got when she joined they give you a cookbook when you sign up and she goes i don't cook but i know you do so i thought you would get better use out of it so there's already one thing i want to make out of there i haven't even looked at it yet but we will bring you that one next week in case you have it and you just have it sitting on your shelf and i'll give you a new appreciation so if you ha if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit it join the dish with the community right there and if you know somebody that would love to be part of this community, please invite them. Please share the video. If you hear people on Facebook talking about, hey, do you hear about the new homecoming cookbook? You could share this video with them. Say, hey, that girl D over at Dish with D, she just did it. And she showed you all the chapters and what's in there. So if you want to see it before you order it, go check her out. I'd appreciate that. It always helps out my channel. Thumbs up, help my channel and comments help my channel. So I always appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I will dish with you another day.